frequency distribution table construct a group frequency distribution table using n is equal to 4 n here is the number of classes that means we should have four classes to make group frequency distribution table after finding the group frequency distribution table part b show the relative and person frequencies now how to construct a group frequency distribution table step 1 we should know the range range is equal to maximum value minus minimum value so find maximum find minimum value then find range divide range by n that will give you the class size so we should know the class size then only we can divide this data into different classes let's try now first take these numbers on excel sheet write in one column i'll just show you i have already written this is the data type these numbers in one column okay now we will find out the maximum value in this data so finding the maximum value put equal to highlight the data no what do you want first write that we want to find maximum so write m a x now they want maximum from where from the data so highlight the data from beginning till end don't miss out any number press enter here yeah, the maximum value is 98 now for minimum same way equal right m i n it will come minimum see they should show this thing here the color blue again select the data we want minimum from this data yes press enter so we got the minimum value now how to find range range is equal to maximum minus minimum enter this is a range n is given 4 here in the question so class size will be equal to range this is a sign slash divide that means divide by 4 press enter 19.5 so if it is in decimal we always take approximately equal to the next number is 20 we take the next number now start classes we have to make classes now class size is 20 so minimum number is 20 so first class will be 22 add 20 in this class size is 20 so 20 plus 20 40 next will be 42 60 keep adding 20 every time 62 60 plus 20 80 how many classes you have to make 4 so 80 to 100 now we will take frequency how do we find frequency frequency means how many numbers are there from 20 to 39 40 is not included in this so we have to take numbers less than 40 we will say equal count if count if when you type it will come count if select from here they want data select from the data okay go back put comma inverted commas now our condition is we have to select from this but less than less than which number less than sign is there on the keyboard less than we want less than 40 close the inverted commas close the bracket press enter the answer is 9 so there are 9 numbers from 29 to 39 now next one here we want number equal 
again count if count if select data last number is 28 yes comma inverted commas what should we write next less than which number 60 close the inverted comma close the bracket but if I press only this less than 60 it will give me all the numbers which are less than 60 including these also but I want from 40 onwards so we will have to subtract from this we will subtract 9 ok press enter so there are 15 numbers from 40 to 59 similarly we will do for the next one equal count if now you remember all the steps yes select data last number and now next what comma inverted commas less than and which number 80 close the comma close the bracket from this we don't want with the numbers which already counted we have already counted 15 and 9 so we will subtract 15 and we will subtract 9 these numbers we have already counted right now press enter so what is the answer 9 now for the third one start again count if select please remember don't miss out any number start from the beginning till the end correct go back comma inverted commas less than which number 100 minus what should I subtract from this all those numbers which you already counted 9 minus 15 minus 9 this we have already counted because it will give us all numbers which are less than 100 here so this we have already counted press enter ok what happened let's see minus 9 minus 15 minus 9 or oh, there is a bracket this number is or we can select the numbers from here 9 minus select this number minus select this number again problem one second yes for this one 80 to 100 see what you have to type equal count if select the data same way yes comma inverted commas less than now we want less than 100 close it close the bracket from this we want to subtract this number so minus select 9 select uh, it is 15 and select 9 so you subtract this and press enter the answer is 3 so we have got classes and frequency this is a frequency distribution you can start from here and here yes you can select you can make border all border you can make bold this is a frequency distribution table. Now next is relative frequency. For relative frequency, what is the rule? 
we need to find the total frequency sum of this frequency go to sum auto sum we'll get the sum 36 so relative frequency is equal to 9 divided by 36 select this press enter now this is the rule for all these numbers we can just drag it and we can get the answer for us now what happened 9 divided by, I think we can take it like this, equal, select 9, we have to divide these numbers by 36, so I will just write 36 here, yeah. press enter, 0.25, now drag it, yes, this is coming into how many decimal places? Some numbers are six decimal places. You can reduce the decimal place. You can increase to two decimal places. Yeah, two decimal places are okay. Next is percent frequency. Percent frequency. For percent frequency, we need to multiply relative frequency by hundred. So multiplication is star. Right hundred is there any mistake? Let's check. We'll do it again. Yes, multiply by hundred. Press enter. So twenty five. Now drag it. So this is percent frequency. Again, you can decrease. Okay. Select. How many decimal places you want? We'll try it again after some time. We can make border. Okay, let's select these numbers and try it. some problem. I think. This is increase, this is decrease. Shoulders, presses, various patient, fewer decimal places. Okay. Now it's okay. But we want two decimal places. Now it's okay. This is percent frequency. So, relative frequency means frequency of that class divided by total frequency. And percent frequency is multiplied relative frequency by 100. So, we are finished with relative and percent frequency. Thank you.